Hey guys, Mark here, and today I got something a little bit different for you. These are a couple of products from a small independent company called Opal. You might have heard about them. They've been backed by a couple of really big names in the creator space like MKBHD and Casey Neistat, and they make webcams with extremely high quality hardware. This is their C1 that's been out for a while now, and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's got this extremely minimalist or even brutalist design, a really cool textured metal finish, a coiled USB-C cable, and it's a 4K webcam. But as awesome as it is, it's really only intended for desktop use. It's heavy, it's Mac only, and it's really expensive at like 300 bucks. Now, I personally know a lot of people who are split between working from home and working at the office. So they kind of carry their laptop with them wherever they go. Many of them are not happy with the laptop's built-in webcam, but they also don't want to lug around a big and bulky webcam with them. That's where Opal's newest product comes in. This is the Tadpole. This is sort of the second chapter for Opal. It's way smaller and lighter than the C1. It can be used with both Mac and Windows. It's specifically been designed with laptops in mind and it's almost half the price. I love the design language of the Tadpole too. It's very consistent with the C1, carrying over that minimalist design just in a much smaller body. The whole thing is shaped like one big alligator clip that attaches to your laptop. The materials are still of a very high quality with this clip part being covered in this really nice rubberized coating. And the rear of the camera is shaped like a giant heat sink. The Tadpoles come in two different colors, this light gray and this more charcoal color that would complement a space gray or black laptop well. I cannot overstate how small this webcam is. For reference, here it is next to a AA battery. It barely takes up any space at all. My favorite part about the design though is this braided USB-C cable that's attached to the back. There's a little loop back here to reduce the strain on the part of the cable that's attached to the webcam, and the cable itself feels robust enough to take a beating without breaking. The little brick at the end of the USB-C cable actually houses a capacitive mute switch and a red LED so that you can mute and unmute the Tadpole's microphone on the fly. That's gonna let you appear unmuted to anyone in your Zoom call, but in actual fact, you will be muted. It's handy if someone walks into your room while you're in a meeting or something and you need to quickly tap that mute button to mute yourself. All right, so I'm just sitting here in my living room and this is exactly what you should expect the Opal Tadpole to look and sound like. There's no studio light set up here. It's just a natural window light coming in and it looks pretty great. We're shooting at 1080p, 24 FPS, although the camera can shoot up to 60 FPS if you want to use it for streaming or something like that. This is almost completely plug and play. I haven't fiddled with many settings at all in the Opal Composer software. I've just turned on a little bit of bokeh, but we'll get to that a little bit later in this video. The Tadpole's microphone is housed on the front right of the webcam and it has built-in noise cancellation if you're working in a noisy environment. Now I've got a speaker here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to play some cafe noises on it while I talk to you so that I can illustrate how good that noise cancellation actually is. If I were working from a busy cafe right now, you would have no problems understanding or hearing me whatsoever. This is unedited audio straight from the Opal Tadpole, and this is the audio from my camera, which doesn't have any built-in noise cancellation whatsoever. The difference is very quickly apparent, and I'm sure whoever's listening to you will appreciate the built-in noise cancellation. Now, the Tadpole wasn't built to replace your desktop's webcam. That's what the C1 was for. The Tadpole was built for laptops. It's got a rubberized protective or privacy cover for the lens. It's small and light enough to travel with you, and it's not nearly as bulky as most other webcams on the market. Apple does have that continuity cam mode for an iPhone, which is a way to get great video quality, but it's way too heavy for most laptops, and you can't even use your phone or read your notifications while you're in that mode. Not only does the Tadpole have great image quality right out of the box, but it also comes with the Opal Composer software, giving you access to a ton of extra features like manual color correction, background replacement, which is actually pretty funny, and my personal favorite, a bokeh-like background blur that instantly makes the video look more professional. The software does a shockingly good job at figuring out what the foreground is and what the background is, and then separating them with a blur. It's very similar to the iPhone cinematic mode or portrait mode video on Android. Once you set that up in the Composer app, it will automatically carry over to your other apps that you use for video conferencing, like Zoom or even Discord. I'm thinking about using this little guy for my D&D sessions when I'm a away from home. It is so easy to throw in my bag and bring with me wherever I go. Now the Opal Tadpole retails for 175 US dollars. And if you're interested in picking one up for yourself, I'll leave a link for you in the description below. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. And as always, have a great day.